Hello, Leo besties. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope you are doing fantastic. I wanted to hop on here and do March readings for all the zodiac signs, so make sure you check out your moon, rising, or Venus sign for more in-depth reading. But we'll go ahead and get started. Make sure you like and subscribe. Really helps your girl out, pushes it out to other Leos that may need to see this message as well. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. Gone energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What do you need to go ahead and know for the next rest of March, I guess we could say? What do my Leos need to go ahead and know? Okay, well, first and foremost, you're showing up as yourself. We love to see the Queen of Wands out here. So you're very magnetic, you're very much in your power, you're bold, you're confident, you're knowing what you want and what you deserve and you're about ready to get it. That's the energy that you have coming forward. Someone is definitely coming forward to confess their feelings, to tell you how they feel, seven of swords in the reverse. Their conscience is kicking in, they feel guilty that you do not know, that you don't know, that, that was not English, that you don't know how they feel open and honestly. And this will be some good news for you with the Page of Wands. You're definitely excited about the future. I think you're very optimistic about the situation because I think, you know, you've already dealt with the heartbreak. You've already overcame the depression. I think this is someone who definitely maybe you have had a history with, but I don't think it's anything toxic. I don't think it's anything negative. I think it's a situation might be a right person, wrong time. In this situation, the universe is going to call judgment and really bring down the equilibrium, the equal give and take, the equal um, energy required to go ahead and bring this into fruition because you both had to close out karmic cycles, learn those life lessons and really, you know, deal with those karmics, push them to the edge and really, you know, analyze who's in it for the long haul and who's only here for the good times. We have the King of Pentacles. So this is definitely someone who wants to come forward, offer you stability, is reliable, is very much a slow moving energy, could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, but definitely knows also what they want. Admires a home life, really wants that stability, wants to build an empire and really bring in this, you know, full fruition, this long term success. You know, this is about building together and inspiring each other, being each other's muses and really building this foundation. I think you're going to have a chance that something's going to come around the corner and really push you to recognize and appreciate what you have to offer. You are unique and I think you have this ability to command attention. I mean, you're a Leo. You know what you want and you're very inspired. You're very bold and you're not scared to make a move. And whatever you've been manifesting is going to come into fruition. The magician is all about one's new beginnings. You have the pentacles, cups, swords, and wands here. So really, you know, with the infinity sign above that, it's endless. Whatever you can think up here, you can hold in the 3D in your hand. And really, you're manifesting your desires because you realized what was holding you back at the bottom of the deck was, you know, your codependency. You were holding on a little too strong to people, places, and things. Now you're in your abundance era and you're really calling in this energy really um, to take care of others, to nurture, to build a foundation as well for now we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. That is divine counterparts. You made these investments in yourself. You put in the time, energy, and effort that was required, the patience, the necessary, you know, late nights, that struggle, that, you know, grind. And now you are bringing in this love, this equal give and take that's going to level you up in all areas of your life because you took the time and energy to invest in yourself. And now you're going to get that equal give and take, that mutual respect, and this will be a victory. Sevens are all about divine timing. And with the Ace of Wands, that's all about, you know, good dick, good times, new energy, new sexual tension, a new spark, and getting your head in the game. Let's go ahead and jump to LaRasha's deck. Go check her out on YouTube. LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me 23. I know it's mouthful, but I'm getting faster at saying it. Let's go ahead and see what you need to know, Leo. What do my Leos need to know for March? 
What do my Leos need to know? Okay, you definitely have leveled up in your life. We love to see it. DNA activation, that's recognizing where you came from, learning from that past, and really embracing and realizing, like, who is not rooting in your corner, who's a fake friend, who's wolf's in, who is a wolf in sheep clothing. Really analyzing this and realizing what you deserve, and you're ready to leave things in the past, you know. You can miss things, you can miss how things were, but not everyone's meant to stay in your life. As you ascend, you can't take everyone with you. I think you're realizing you have to go ahead and walk away from those toxic people, places, and things, and if you don't, that's going to hold you back in your life. People that have lied to you, betrayed your trust, you know, that had these hidden motives, maybe you excuse these red flags. You kind of were seeing the world in rose-colored glasses, but really this person was having ulterior motives, whether that was greed, possessiveness, codependency, and of course our Leo man joined us during your reading. And it's a situation where you had to realize what you want in your life, and I think you're done with the backstabbers. You're real, you're done with the half-ass energy. Hose smile on your face the whole time. They want to take your place. Keeping it on the low, you're putting up these personal boundaries. You're deciding what you are and are not going to deal with. Moving forward, even if people come back just deep in their feelings, you know, and put up this front of, I want a home life. I want a foundation. I want something that's stable with you. I think it's a situation where you're realizing what you want deep down morally that, you know, fills your cup, really makes you feel at home, safe and secure. Isn't it what they want? Because you have a soulmate coming in, my love. You recognize me. We come together for a purpose. Really analyzing and celebrating in this energy coming into union is going to be key. Because someone's in it to win it, in it to lose it. They know that they have a soul contract with you. It's a soulmate. It is your better half. And let's go ahead and let's get naughty. It's going to be spicy, fun, and feral. Role play, handcuffs, whips, paddles, chains. Could be from... An earth sign, like we said earlier, you can have whatever you like. They want to give you that foundation. This person might differ from your normal type, but I'm telling you, splitting the deck, it's going to be passionate, and they're going to express how they feel about you. And it's going to be in-depth feelings. They're emotionally in tuned, and they're ready to invest in you and give back. This could lead to something long-term with the Marry Me card. They're looking forward to the future. No games. They're not going to play them. But let's go ahead and jump to the Rebel Oracle deck. What do you need to go ahead and what do you need to go ahead and know for the rest of March? I swear that does not sound like English right now, but I'm a little tired. Anyways, Leo, for the month of March, what savage truths do you need to know? I think this is telling me the exact same thing. Get some fucking sleep. You are being an ass because you're fucking tired. Face to pillow now. You need to make some better choices. If you're pissed at where you're at, stop taking yourself there. The definition of insanity is doing something over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome. That's why you need to go ahead and release. It's time to let go. Move the fuck on. And, you know, take care of yourself. We got the get your... At, Get you, get the fuck outside, move your ass, your body's pissed at you, making sure you're taking care of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually, my love. That will be the key to manifest this and bring it into reality. When you love yourself and take care of yourself, you attract it back. So let's go ahead and jump to the Angel Answers Oracle. Leo, go ahead and think about a specific question. Could be a person, place, or thing that you want the answer to in March. And I'll get you some answers. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine because we are energetically aligned. What do my Leos need to know about their specific situation for March? Okay, thank you, Spirit. Well, the answer is yes. First and foremost, you are manifesting this. And there's something better. So what you want is going to come even tenfold more than you can expect. You will be successful. I'm just letting you know out here, bringing happy changes. Look out for the sign 555 that the universe is going to deliver and bring changes in this area of your life if that is in love, finances, you know, any type of situation, your career, because get grounded. Take those five to ten minutes for yourself because meditation will bring you answers and the situation is going to improve. You can't have anything better than this. You deserve this, Leo. 
Make sure you check out your moon, rising, or Venus sign for more in-depth reading and like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if this resonated. I love you and I hope you have a fabulous March. Bye, bestie.